understand this. Greatness is within you. Greatness at its core is an aspect, a perspective of God, right? Now, listen to what Yeshua says, that God is within you, the kingdom is within, right? If greatness is an aspect of God and God is within you, then greatness is within you. You got to bring that out. You got to tap into your innate power. And that innate power is God. There are many different aspects of God because God is all things, right? God is the infinite. We have this physical system, the body, the, the, the earth, all of this material world is the mechanism for these aspects to play out, you know? And if you bring you are that greatness, understand that. If you bring that greatness out, you bring your true self out, you will shine and you will make a difference in this world. You have to you have to tap into that greatness or or you'll be lost. There's a beef flying around in here. Anyway, the everybody's waiting for for someone to come save them, not realizing that that greatness is within you. God is within you. And some religious people that will hear me saying that no one's coming to save you and <clears throat> the, the the greatness is within you, they're gonna, their their mind will hear that. Your their mind will hear hear that and say See, he thinks he doesn't need God. He thinks he could do it on his own. Well, let me clear that up. We can't do anything without God. It's the only the only difference is religious people are looking to the clouds in the sky for their God. When it's kind of funny that even Yeshua himself said, if you look to the sky, the birds will precede you. If you look in the sea, the fish will precede you. The kingdom is within. Yeshua was saying the very thing I'm saying, but yet most people that are religious don't understand it. You know, it's kind of crazy because they a lot of religious people will quote Yeshua saying, I never knew you, right? Depart from me, I never knew you. Many, and he also says that those many that will call me Lord, you know, will not see the kingdom. It's those who do the works of the Father, right? Yeshua himself <clears throat> is saying basically that the the overall uh, narrative of most religion is bullshit. That's what Yeshua himself is saying. It's kind of funny because history repeats itself. It's like the the Jewish religion was once the truth, the the whole, God literally being the words "I am," that consciousness awareness, and then somehow it became dualistic because the mind the mind hears religion the soul hears truth right and that's what happened someone came up with this like judaism right that truth right that was once truth but as it got passed down the soul didn't hear it the the scriptures only spoke to the mind you know it incited it incited the mind to seek for something higher but it didn't speak to where it needed to speak to right so then God, the universe, existence as a whole, had to correct that wrong. So what did it do? It manifested in Yeshua being born, right? Think of it like a big black void, right? And then out of nowhere, an eyeball pops up. And then another eyeball, and another eyeball, and another eyeball. And pretty soon you can't see any of the black anymore. And it's just one big kaleidoscope of eyeballs that make up one big eyeball. That's existence, man. But whenever there's that darkness, that void, sooner or later, it's only natural that an eyeball is going to wake up. And that's what Yeshua did. Yeshua woke up and challenged the falsehoods of religion, right? He challenged that. And the Pharisees hated him. They, 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 you see, they, they essentially were partially responsible for his death, you know? All for speaking the truth. 
And that truth is within you. Think about it. If Yeshua truly came to fulfill the Jewish prophecy, why would they have been mad? They would have welcomed him with open arms. He was obviously speaking so, so off compared to what their religion said. If he was simply part of that faith, he would have merged well. It's it's a lot deeper. The the irony is now we 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 say Yeshua is the way, the truth, and the life, right? It's because he realized I am. He realized that. He realized. But that's why when he said before Abraham was, I am. He was saying, like, before all your prophets, like all your prophets have this or whatever, but I am it. It is within me. It's been awakened within me. And see, the the religious mind will hear that and say, see, then I guess he's the son of God. We have to worship him. We have to praise him. But at the same time, <clears throat> he came and said things like, why do you call me good? Only God is good. The me as in what they view as the body, the, the consciousness, the, the, the me, the, the only truth there is, the beingness, that is what's good, right? And he also said, I pray that they all become one and they're both and they're all within us. You know, he, he was trying to spark that within you. He was trying to spark being within you. He was trying to spark that connection that the kingdom is within you. So greatness is within you. Greatness is but an aspect of God, God's awesomeness. And all you have to do is channel that force within you because it is it is of you it is an aspect of you right now too many people are going to hear this and see it as some satanist thing because satan tries to be god and all that that is not what i'm saying <clears throat> let me nip that in the butt right now for anybody anybody that's watching that thinks that what i'm preaching is some dark shit we need god it's when we identify as these forms and we try to do our own thing that it becomes sin because we we're, we break away from the infinite by identifying as the limited. That's what Satan is, you know, is identifying with the limited. If 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 you're a think about it like this, there's a an infinite ocean and there's one droplet of water with when he's in the ocean. He's got the whole ocean. He's one with it. He merges. You can't find the droplet. It's just a big-ass ocean, right? But when he leaves the ocean, he's a very limited droplet that is going to get evaporated by the heat. You know, it's very limited, right? That That is Satan. Like, people that are in their lower desires, in their limited form, identifying with their limited body, they are so limited that they're going to get evaporated, right? But when you merge back with the ocean, the sun ain't evaporating the whole ocean, you know? So, greatness is within you. You just have to find it. Greatness. You can call it God. You can call it in. You can call, it doesn't really matter. You just have to feel it. Words are futile. It doesn't matter. You don't have to, you don't even have to be preaching all this stuff as long as you feel it, you know? And then when you feel it in the inner world, it will manifest in the outer world. So you just got to have that, you know, that dark void. You got to make sure you're one of the eyeballs that pop up. And then when that eyeball pops up to another dark space, you incite, you uh, trigger something to open up and open up and open up, you know. So for those that have eyes, let them see what I'm saying or let them hear what I'm saying, I should say. But yeah, have a good one.